The most famous picture in the Library of Congress is called Migrant Mother. A 32-year-old woman who had seven children had stopped at a pea-picking camp in Napoma, California. The picture appeared in newspapers and magazines very shortly after it was taken and helped persuade people, not just that there was desperate poverty going on in our country, but that there was a resilience and strength of the people facing this dire situation. But the version of migrant mother seen today is not exactly what the photographer shot. She edited out the woman's thumb. And Dorothea Lang found it a distraction, and so she actually had it touched out of the negative. And that's the sense in which this particular picture is the pre-edited, uh, a, a unique copy of the picture as it was originally taken. Migrant Mother is part of a collection of images from the Farm Security Administration, a New Deal project to capture poverty in rural America between 1935 and 1944. Can you imagine, it's uh, 1944, we're in the midst of the war, the Depression has recently passed, and the attitude was, who will ever want to look at these sad old pictures again? So the Librarian of Congress went over and said, I know it's a lot of photographs, more than 170,000, but I really feel like if we collect today, contemporary, in 50 years and 100 years, that will be a visual encyclopedia of life in the United States, the good as well as the bad. Today, this is the library's most popular photo collection.